How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another car mechanic simulator video and in today's video guys we are going to be working on a 1980 um I think this one's an 80 let me check yes this is a 1980 Mark III Ford Bronco there's an options between the 80 and the 83 we have the 80 and we also have a police edition so as you can see with the with the current thing we've been doing we got the uh, I'll go back through these one more time we got the Pennsylvania State Police Trooper truck. We got the Dodge Monaco Highway Patrol truck. And then we also have a criminal transport uh, Chevrolet Astro van. Um, so if you want to see any of those, go back and look at those recent videos. But today, we're going to be working on the police edition of the Mark III uh, Bronco here. So I'll run it over you, for you guys really quick. It is the uh, V8 overhead valve, uh, single carb. Yep. Um, we could do all these swaps into it. I'm probably just going to keep it, though, uh, with the factory option, just because it lines up the best on uh, on the suspension and all the drivetrains and everything. It lines up the best that way, so we're going to be keeping it that way. Um, I will be possibly doing a little bit to it. Eh, actually, I probably won't. Now that I think about it, we'll probably be... Eh, no, we'll, we'll... Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll do some stuff to it. Just because we've done things to all three of these, might as well soup up one of these bad boys and actually... Uh, and actually run it pretty good um and as you can see in here we got the you got the you got the lights on top you got the antennas you got the shotgun mounted to your front dash is there anything else in here i think you might have a police radio in there too pop that door open yeah it looks like you got a police radio in there also but yeah uh let's get working on this so first things first is we're going to take the motor out get that up in the air We'll pop the motor out and we'll get working on the uh, the V8 first. Pop this guy out. All right, how's the? All right, looks like we have no pistons even in the motor at all. So I do see this one being a very very easy and quick uh, swap. One, two, three, and gone. All right, so it's that easy to drop a transmission. Obviously, in real life, it'll be way longer, but thankfully not. Um, I'll pop out the battery. This looks like we're missing the front radiators. Alrighty, that was pretty easy. Had our engine. So it looks like all this thing really had on it, though, was transmission and crankshaft. And there we go. So now everything's repaired, ready to go. Um, I'm gonna go through really quick buy all the parts I think I'm gonna need for this build and I'll be back with you guys I think I can I can pretty much purchase almost everything in one go. So I'll be right back Alrighty, so I think I went through I th I'm pretty sure I got Almost everything purchased So we'll just start sliding in our pistons here. We'll get the bottom end done and then I'll go up to the there we go. I'll go up to the uh, the heads next And then I did decide, yeah, we're going to do a full uh, built motor on this one. Just because we've done the built motor on the rest of our police fleet here, uh, we might as well do a built motor on this one. So we can give it some some room to grow, you know. I think it's 303-ish horsepower stock. So probably be pushing around 450 by the end of it. Probably get at least a 50% gain out of this. All right. You know, I guess we're just going to do the heads first. Pistons hopefully can't fall out from here. Oh, and guys, sorry if I sound a little bit under the weather. I think I'm getting a little bit of a cold. So, that is, uh, that is some sad news. That coil sensor right here. There we go. And yeah, and this one is not the supercharged version either. If you guys saw that one, if you saw that, it is the uh, it's the single carb version. So um, yeah, this will be carbureted, which is okay. It's not the 
Not the best thing in the world, but you know, it's not the worst thing in the world either. All right, that was pretty easy. They were need a single carb intake manifold. That was one of the things I did not get yet. So I was not quite sure on that one. Oh my gosh, putting in valve valve push rods is painful. In real life, it's pretty easy. You just lube it up and you slide the rod in there, but oh, in here it's I don't I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, there we go. Got our head cover on. And Ta-da! Now the head's done. That's a huge, huge obstacle finished. I guess we'll go through here really quick. I'll get all these rod caps and bearings put on. It's kind of a shame for the bearing caps. You just put the bearing caps on, but you don't actually have to put uh, the bearings themselves in. Um, it would be, pretty, would be pretty cool if they actually had a little bit more of the detail-oriented uh, stuff like that in, but it's okay. One, two. Oh, I can't wait to finish the uh, the fleet of police cars here. I think, guys, this is going to be the last police car we can work on. I think there's only really four police cars, four or five-ish police cars in the game. Um, so I think I'm hitting the end here on those. Uh, but I think towards the end here, I'll show them all off, each in their own little light. And then I think we're also going to race them against each other. I'm pretty sure the Monaco or the truck are going to win. We might have to slap on some uh, actual performance stuff on them. Uh, performance uh, drag slicks or something like that. Because if not, I'm pretty sure they're just going to spin out incredibly. Just every single time they're just going to spin out. Uh, if you guys saw the one video with the Dodge Monaco... I think if you got going over 30 miles an hour, it just had so much torque on it that it just spun you out instantly. So, I might have to swap around all the tires on every truck, uh, on every car and truck to see uh, how they do. I don't know. This one could hold up for, uh, for competition, but I don't think it's going to beat 700 and some horsepower. our belts get that fan on i'm not sure if i have the clips i need i'll find out in a second here for the distributor oh get that bad boy off there let me take this off really too i'm not sure if that one was performance okay it was okay then we got clip b yeah no clips we do have the wires though that's good clip two clip B's and then while we're in here we're gonna look for a single carb and then we're looking for a one carb intake which I don't think they have in here um, if I remember I think you got to get all the except for the filters but all the carbureted stuff except for the carbs themselves are in here um, uh, I can't spell today intake one carb okay so there's the base there's this and that i'm not sure what exact carburetor we're needing i think it's a i don't want to say it's a it's a double carb what are we needing it's four barrel okay duh of course it's four barrel Okay. Oh, and we got a plus one quality. I'll use that instead. 
Okay, so there we go. Now the entire engine itself is done. The next thing is going to be for us to do the clutch and flywheel, which literally four parts. Get the clutch, or you get the flywheel, you get the clutch, pressure plate, plate, and then you have the throw out bearing. And we already have one of those. Or right, they don't call them the throw out bearing in this, I don't think. Can't remember what that part's called. Clutch release bearing. Same thing. Okay, so now this motor is done. So I'll pop that off the stand here. And before I can install the motor, I'm gonna give this thing a good uh, a good weld. I'm just gonna fix the frame and body because I don't want to install a uh, a perfectly good new refurbished motor in a rusted out body or a rusted out frame because it's just gonna in reality would be a very very bad idea. Alrighty, so that fit in very, very well as I expected. Battery, radiator's bad. Okay, so we should be able to just to purchase a radiator. No fans or anything on it. Oh, wow, it does want a fan housing. Looks like we get a radiator. We have a fan on the actual water pump, and now we're going to have a fan housing also. So this thing is going to be cool as a cucumber. Oh, it wants a single fan housing. Okay. That's all right. All right. Well, now it should be running very, very, very cool. Let me click on the motor. There we go. Get some oil in here. If I remember to put oil in when I install the motor, better chances of me remembering later on. Or not having to remember later on. Okay. So there we go, guys. The motor is in. Um, I think next thing for us to do is going to be tires. Let's pop off these bad boys. And knowing the fact that I'm probably going to have to race. Actually, no, I'll, I'll just put off roaders on this one because I was thinking about having to do that, but there's no way this thing's going to beat the horsepower of the other ones. Okay, I'm gonna go buy the same rims I've bought before. So these are 15s. Rims, I think we're gonna go for the 37s. I think if you guys have seen the other videos, you know which ones those are. They are these ones and the car is, or the trucks are already gonna be all black. So I'm gonna go with the silvers this time around. All right, 37 A's to so the 37 B's. And then we need 225 by 80s. So 225 by 80, and we're gonna go with the off-roaders. Uh, we'll go with the, the nicer tread on them. 225 by 80. 225, 80, 15, four, okay. $1,256, that is uh, it's a hefty price to pay, actually. We'll chrome these ones out. You know what I'm thinking now? I'm thinking we'll, we'll chrome these out. Oh, I still got the story mode looking old Cadillac Luxor bower blowing thing sticking in here. Got to get it out of here. Got to get it out of the shop. Wow, we got a lot of leftover parts. Okay, so we're just going to take this and just go straight chrome. This one. Yeah, I really, really, really need to clean out the inventory here, as you guys can probably see. It's got a, got a lot of leftover older parts. All right, now, which one is the last one we need? I think those three are painted, and this one's not. Let's hope. So only about $100 to paint each rim, which isn't isn't terrible, um, but obviously if you could buy the rims already painted, that would be uh, a little bit more ideal. All right, sweet. So that is going to be what we want. And I'm going to sell all the bad parts. I'm going to sell all these. Just cleaning up the inventory while we're chilling here. Um, 
we'll keep that double wishbone. Yeah, there's just a ton of leftover parts. Scroll all the way down. Let's see. So I'm going to sell parts that are car specific. Like I bought a lot of extra parts for the Astro Van accidentally. All right, and we'll start mounting the last one here. Monaco stuff. Get that out of here. Get rid of all of our Ford stuff. All right, that clears out a lot of parts. All right, let's start mounting the last one. All right, let's see how these look on here. I'm not going to be able to tell very well from the front here, but... I don't know, I think that caps it, right? Yeah, it caps it. I kind of like on these older, uh, quote, quote, retro -er rims, like the 80s, 90s rims, um, even some of the 70 rims, how they have the center cap on them. Um, obviously, with time, the center caps, like, wear, and they start to look really bad with, like, people using flathead screwdrivers and stuff like that to pop them off. I've seen that, like, a bunch. Um, but, new, I do like it. I do like it a lot. Take a step back and look. This side's the more finished side of the two, so you know what I like it. It's not, it's not bad at all. Might be a little much, honestly. Um, probably could have done with just the normal metallic silver instead of the uh, chrome, but that's okay. But there we go, guys. There is the start of the Chevy. Um, I guess you could say the Mark III Chevrolet Bronco, or not Chevrolet. What am I saying? Oh my gosh. Ford Bronco. Why am I saying Chevy? Ford Bronco. Ford Bronco. Ford Bronco. Um, the Mark III one. Uh, this is like the same one. The mod is actually like really meant for kind of OJ, the OJ Simpson Bronco. If you guys know what that is, though, if, I mean, some of you probably know what that is um, with how he fled on in his white Bronco and all that. And like a really long police chase going like 30 miles an hour or whatever. So that's what the mod's kind of based off of. But it does have like the police stuff and like one or two other different variants in there. So that's why we are using this uh, for ours. Um, but yeah, no, it's super, super well done mod. Um, I'm assuming we're going to be pushing about 450. I'm saying about 459-ish horsepower um, by the end of it. Um, so hopefully you guys stay tuned for the next video when we finish this Bronco here. And then the video after that, we're going to be doing a uh, collective look at all of our stuff here. I'll probably say my favorite two is going to be between the truck and the Monaco. I really like the old look of the Monaco. The, old, the look of the lights and everything on the top. I just... I just really, really, really like it. It's got the shotgun in the dash again, obviously. What does this one have one in there? This one doesn't. This one's more of, yeah, more of a state patrol. So I guess he's not rolling around with a shotgun in his dash. And that's criminal transport. So there's nothing in there. Uh, but yeah, there we go. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. Leave a comment down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you all in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.